Hey everybody, today I'm going to be unboxing the latest Amazon purchase. This is the trail camera from the company Blaze Video. As with all my purchases, I like doing these unboxings in case there's somebody else out there thinking about buying the same item and they want to get an idea of what does it look like when it comes in, what's the quality like, etc. So on the box it says 0.2 seconds to 0.6 second trigger time. On the Amazon listing it actually says 0.3 seconds, so I'm not real sure. I guess it kind of maybe depends on how you've got your settings. Six month battery standby. Let's open it up and let's take a look at what all we get. Now I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. I probably won't go through the setup of the camera unless there's just something different about this camera than any other camera that's sold on Amazon. A lot of times when you get these trail cameras, you're gonna find that the setup is pretty consistent between all of them. But what I will do is put it out and attach some video and image examples taken with the camera. So it looks like the model is H45A, comes with an instruction manual, comes with a standard Android uh, cable. I'm assuming this is going to be to plug the camera in and do any kind of firmware updates, or if you wanted to plug the camera into your computer to retrieve the images. I don't usually do that. I usually just pop out the memory card, put that in my computer, and that's how I get my images. Couple of different mounting brackets. You got the traditional metal mounting bracket. You're gonna put this through this metal plate, put this through the bottom of the camera, or you've got your cloth strap that you can run through the back of the camera, put it around a tree. All of that stuff is pretty standard with most other trail cameras on the market. So this is a 20 megapixel 1296p video trail camera. Oh, this one's kind of interesting. Usually you have a little area back here that you run your strap through. This one has it built in on the side, so it should hold a lot snugger on the tree if you're using the cloth mounting strap. It does take a solar panel, which I will be planning on using, but if you don't have a solar panel, it runs on AA batteries. You can use alkaline or lithium batteries. If you're using AA batteries, they're going to simply go on this side. It takes a micro SD card. That's one thing I would have changed. I kind of like the full size SD card. It's a little bit easier for my big fingers to use, but you can use a micro SD card in this one up to 128 gigabytes. That would be the port for your Android cable that they give you. It is waterproof IP65. Looks good. Let's get it put out and see what kind of video and image quality we get.